ಅನ್ನಾನಾಂತ್ವಮೇವ ಶರಣಂ ವಿಭು ಅಂಜಲಿಸ್ಥ ಕುಸುಮಾನ್ ಭಗವತ್ ಪಾದಮೂಲೆ ಸಮರ್ಪ್ಯ ವ್ಯಸ್ತ ಪ್ರಣಮೇದ ಓಂ ಮನೋ ಹಿಂಸಿ ಜಾತವೇದೋ ಗಾಮ ಸ್ವಂ ಪುರುಷಂ ಜಗದ್ ಅಭಿಭ್ರದ ಪೈಕ ಮಾಪರಿಪಾತಯ ಸಂಭ್ರಾಜಂ ಚ ವಿರಾಜಂ ಚಾಭಿಶ್ರೀರ್ಯಾಚನೋ ಗೃಹ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರಾಸ್ತಯ ಮುಖೇತಯ ಮಾಸಕುಂ ಸೃಜಾಮಸ್ ಬೋಲ್ ವಿಶ್ವಕ್ಷೇರ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಗೀ ಯಜ್ಞ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಗೀ ಯಜ್ಞಮಯಂತೇವಾಸ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಥಮ ತೇಹನಾಕ ಮಹಿಮಾನಸಂತೆ ಜಪೂರ್ವೆ ಪವಿತ್ರೇಣ ಆತ್ಮನ ಪುನತೆ ಸದಾ ತೇನ ಸಹಸ್ರಧಾರೇಣ ಪಾವಮಾನ್ಯ ಪುನಂತು ಮಾಜಾಪತ್ಯ ಪವಿತ್ರ ಶತೋಧ್ಯಾಮಗಂಹಿರನ್ಮಯ ತೇನ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದೋ ಭಯ ಭೂತ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಪುನೀಮಹೆ ಇಂದ್ರಸ್ಸು ನೀತಿ ಸಹ ಮಾ ಪುನಾತ ಸೋಮಸ್ವರುಣ ಸಮೀಕ್ಷ ಯಮೋ ರಾಜ ಪ್ರಭೃಣಿ ಪುನಾ ಜಾತವೇದಾಮೋರ್ಜಯಂ ಚಾಪುನ ಅಪವಿತ್ರ ಪವಿತ್ರೋ ವಾ ಸರ್ವಾವಸ್ಥಾಂಗತೋಪಿ ವಸ್ಮರೇತ್ ಪುಂಡರೀಕಾಕ್ಷ ಸಭಾಖ್ಯಾಭ್ಯಂತರಸ್ಸುತಿ ಯಶಸ್ಕಾರಂಬಲಾವಂತ ಪ್ರಭುತ್ವಂತಮೇವರಾಜಾಧಿಪತಿರ್ಭವ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನಾಗಾಸ್ವಪತಿರ್ನರಾಣ ಸುಮಂಗಲ್ಯ ಸತತ ದೀರ್ಘಮಾತಿ ಶತಾಜು ಪುರುಷಸ್ಯತೇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಆಯುಷ್ಯೇವೇಂದ್ರಿಜೆ ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠತಿ ಶ್ರೀರ್ವರ್ತ್ಯಸ್ವಮಾಯುಷ್ಯಮಾರೋಗ್ಯಮಾವೀಧಾಕ್ಷೋಭಾಮಾನ ಮಹೀಯತೆ All right, so the visuals on your screen are of uh, Prime Minister Modi who is in Hyderabad to inaugurate a 216 feet tall uh, statue of equality uh, in uh, in Hyderabad of course there's been controversy over this this visit because uh, he was earlier not greeted at the airport by the chief minister of the state KCR and uh, the BJP has then responded by tweeting uh, that uh, this break in protocol has uh, 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 you know that this is a break uh, break in in uh, protocol that is insulting and shameful but for more on uh, the prime minister's trip to hyderabad what it is uh, about let's go across to oma sudhir oma uh, what is this uh, statue of equality about who does it commemorate what can you tell us about that first sera this is uh, 216 feet statue as you mentioned a panchaloha idol of swami ramana jayacharya who is a 11th century bhakti saint who in fact uh, 
is supposed to kind of uh, denote the idea of equality among people he he promoted the idea of equality among different faiths and castes and creed and therefore very important symbol of equality and that's exactly what the statue is called the statue of equality and this is built over a 45 acre campus and uh, at the Chinnaji Swami Trust and the prime minister was personally invited to come and uh, dedicate this uh, statue to the nation and that's what he is here for there were two programs on the prime minister's agenda today he arrived at 2:10 uh, this afternoon first went to the international crop uh, research institute for uh, the uh, semi arid tropics because they are finishing 50 years of existence and have had a wonderful contribution towards semi arid tropic agriculture and that's where the prime minister went and uh, in fact addressed them and spoke about uh, using digital tools for farmers and for agriculture as well and subsequently he is here where the visuals that we were uh, seeing about uh, the yajnas that have been conducted there these are going to happen over 12 days from the 2nd of february to the uh, 14th of february and uh, this entire complex in fact a very very beautiful complex uh, the statue itself uh, one of the big, uh, biggest in size uh, of a sitting statue and uh, on a, it's on in fact a multi storied uh, structure inside which there is in fact a 120 kg of the idol uh, of ramanujacharya and uh, that idol is in fact going to be inaugurated by president kovind uh, uh, next week uh what i can tell you is that the interest is not just because this is such a grand function and a grand place where you have about 108 what are being called replicas of all the important vaishnavite temples across the country 108 of them at one venue considered very auspicious by the uh, believers and uh, the reason we are lo- also looking at this particular uh, day with interest is because of the political kind of uh, 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 equations that are playing out in the backdrop Uh, as you know the protocol that whenever a prime minister visits the state the chief minister would personally welcome him and uh, the chief minister today was absent uh, at the airport at ikrisat and also here at the statue of equality venue and uh, the formally the telangana chief minister's office is conveyed to the prime minister's office that he is running a fever and that's the reason he is absent at these events but critics and political observers are seeing more in it because of the political political background uh, to what has happened in the last few days uh, soon after the union budget um the prior the chief minister had held a press conference in which he had planned not just the union budget but also the central government and the bjp party and personally the prime minister as well he made a couple of personal attacks calling the gujarat model as uh, upar sherwani and andar pareshani and also mocking in a sense i should say the dressing the preference of the prime minister where uh, he said that he dresses according to the election uh, the states that are going to election uh, it is in this background that i had asked him on that day whether he would in fact uh be meeting face to face with the prime minister and he said yes it is protocol and i will be meeting him and i will be welcoming him to the state and criticizing is part of my politics but i will in fact uh, be sharing a chopper ride as well with him and during which i may even talk to him about uh, what i have uh, my misgivings uh, with the government and with the prime minister but that has not happened and uh, sources telling us that possibly uh, this also is a political message that the uh, chief minister wants to convey uh it's probably awkward uh, to share dais at this time when they have had uh, rather embittered relations and uh, perhaps sending that signal that uh, the uh, the distances between these two parties uh, has grown between uh, the prime minister and the chief minister also the gulf has widened even though trs at some point was seen as a party that was supporting the bjp at the center in parliament on several issues